Thank you for joining me for the final Society Chat update of the 2022 calendar year. Quite hard to believe. So first, I'm really excited to say that registration for our 2023 annual meeting in Seattle is now open. The program committee are going to join a future episode of Society Chat, but please don't wait for them to register for the meeting. Ensure you get the best rate by registering now, and I really hope to see you all in Seattle this summer. I'm also really excited to be continuing to get back to in-person meetings as we restarted in Tampa last year. I think it's exciting to serve the west side of the country a bit more and exciting some of the international opportunities speakers we may have coming from Asia and attendees we may have coming from Asia. So I look forward to seeing you all in Seattle. I also want to take a moment to thank those of you who expressed interest in serving on one of ASCRS's committees starting in June 2023. The work our committees do is really integral to the success of the society and our teams do a lot of work structuring everything around disease processes, quality standards, billing coding reimbursement, how we run and organize the society and it's foundational for us really, it really is. And I completely understand that committee work demands time and expertise from you who are already busy members. We never take your service for granted. I'm excited to say that this fall more than 400 members responded to the call for committee volunteers, listing each of them up to three committee preferences. The selection process is currently underway and new member appointments are expected to be announced no later than January of 2023, so in a few weeks. I will tell you that the appointment process is highly competitive, so we always try to give preference to members who have never served before, but still there's never enough opportunities for everyone who is interested. So one of the things we did this year to create more opportunity, um, we discussed with the Executive Council and recently agreed to move from three-year terms to two-year terms for all but five of our 23 committees. So obviously that increases the opportunities to serve by quarter to a third of slots. So I think that's great. It'll allow more of you, more of us serve our society. This term change has to be phased in because people have prior appointments to the committees, um, but we'll be phasing it in beginning next year and the phase in will be complete by 2024. Ultimately, this is going to create more opportunities for you to serve your society, to collaborate, and to meet more colleagues from across North America as you work with your committee. So many ASCRS members started their paths to leadership within our society ASCRS, but also within their own institutions or practices as hardworking members of committees. I know I did, and I deeply appreciate your continued support for our society. Moving on, I'd now like to introduce Dr. Erin King-Mullins. Erin uh, is Chair of the Diversity, Equity and Inclusion Committee, uh, and she's going to give us this month's committee update. She and the committee have done tremendous work over recent years, and I know you're going to be really impressed and proud by their, and ultimately our society's accomplishments. Welcome, Dr. King-Mullins. Hi, my name is Dr. Erin King-Mullins and I live in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm a colorectal surgeon at Colorectal Wellness Center and I serve as chair of the DEI committee. The mission of the Diversity, Equity and Inclusion Committee is to promote equity and access to colorectal screening, cancer care and treatment for underrepresented minorities and work to increase participation by underrepresented minority members in all areas of ASCRS. Over the past year, the DEI committee has developed and implemented a number of projects in support of ASCRS's two strategic priorities focusing on diversity, equity, and inclusion. Our DEI Student Pathway Program is a one-day program designed to expose underserved high school, college, and medical students to the colorectal surgical specialty during the ASCRS annual scientific meeting each year. The goal is to spark future interest in the medical field and the colorectal surgical specialty. The one-day program consists of a breakfast, educational programs, 
hands-on experiences with surgical equipment, ranging from suturing to surgical robots, the DEI luncheon, and future mentoring opportunities. The DEI Mentoring and Longitudinal Data Project offers a continuance for DEI Student Pathway Program participants who are interested in continuing along this pathway. Students over the age of 18 are matched with a colorectal surgeon mentor, and students under the age of 18 participate alongside their parents in a group mentoring approach. Students receive advice and guidance from the mentoring program designed to provide greater clarity, encouragement, and support in their pathway ahead. The success of this program will be measured by tracking these students over time to see how many make it into the field of medicine as well into the colorectal surgical specialty. The committee's Healthy Eating and Colon Cancer Screening Community Service Project is targeted toward the parents and guardians of our DEI student program participants. As part of the day program, parents and guardians are invited to join us for the breakfast session, which concludes with a healthy eating and colon cancer screening presentation. We've partnered with the Colorectal Cancer Alliance and a local cancer center in the host city of the ASCRS annual scientific meeting who participates in the educational program. At the conclusion of the educational program, our partners offer to meet one-on-one -on -one with parents, guardians interested in learning about next steps and the community resources available to them regarding screening and follow-up care. Our Coffee and Conversation series is an educational program designed to address physician and patient-centered experiences related to diversity, equity, inclusion, accessibility, and justice through casual but expert conversation between surgeons. These conversations will be available for viewing to anyone with access to the ASCRS YouTube channel. Many of you may already be familiar with the DEI Luncheon, which takes place at the ASCRS annual scientific meeting each year. This event is designed to inspire action, understanding, support, dialogue, awareness, and connections around DEI-related issues and leadership. The LGBTQ breakfast also takes place at the ASCRS annual scientific meeting and is designed to inspire action, understanding, support, dialogue, awareness, and connections around LGBTQ related issues and leadership. The committee is presently exploring the creation of a DEI training program. The goal of this program will to be to create a customized DEI training program for both the society and the specialty. Rather than reinvent the wheel, the committee is presently surveying other existing training programs to identify components and best practices that might be borrowed and incorporated into our own program. Finally, to continue fostering regular awareness of DEI issues among colorectal surgeons, the committee regularly submits social and digital media content for regular broadcasts within ASCRS channels, Additionally, the committee is also recruiting volunteer leads to focus on the creation of social and digital content around annual DEI related observance days and months, such as Black History Month, LGBTQIA Heritage Month, and Hispanic Heritage Month, just to name a few. Though the committee member call for volunteers has passed, we want to see members more engaged with students at the upcoming annual meeting. Also, Please feel free to reach out to me if you are in need of assistance with diverse content creation, participants, and presenters. Thank you. Well, thank you, Dr. King Mullins, for all the good work you and the DEI committee are undertaking. And thanks also for joining me today. And to all of you, always remember this is your specialty and ASCRS is your society. I hope you're able to enjoy some rest and relaxation as the year draws to a close. Uh, over the holidays and I looked forward to seeing you next time in early 2023.